Hello, my name is Fatima Terrazas and I'm a research assistant professor at the University of Oregon. And today I'm going to be talking about Project Escolar. The Escolar project started 10 years ago with funding from the National Science Foundation and the Office of Special Education Programs to create accessible online materials to teach science to all middle school students, including students with learning disabilities and English language learners. With this brief video, I will show you the Escolar student platform and the teacher online training tools that you all can use for free. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to create an account. You click here, not a member, create an account. It is free for everyone. And you enter all of the required information. Then you click the register button. And the first thing you're going to see is the terms and conditions of usage and you have to agree to those terms. Right after you agree to the terms and condition, it will take you directly to the page where all of the middle school science units are located. You will see that we start with foundational skills units, where we have one unit where we teach students how to create models, and another unit where we teach students how to create experiments. Then we have the Air and Space Sciences units, and we have four units in this topic. And if you're familiar with the Next Generation Sciences standards, you'll know these topics are really aligned in the same sequence that the Next Generation Sciences standards are presented. Then we have Life Science, again, with the sequence of the NGSS. Knowing my body, caring for our planet, something about genetics, and adaptations. And you will see that we use some unique names because we try to capture the attention of the students with this name. We try to give meaning to the science with themes or titles that students can be more attracted to rather than calling this unit genetics, for example. We call it the game of life. Then we get into physical sciences, and in physical science, we have five different units to cover all of these standards. First one is uh, properties uh, of matter, energy matters, the world waves, forces and interactions, and amazing chemistry. So with Escolar, you will have access to all of these different units, but you also will have access to some of the resources that we have for parents and teachers. And for teachers, we have a brief online tutorial that really tells you all of the things that you need to do to prepare to use our group. We are in this tutorial, and here is a navigation bar. So you basically have to start from top to bottom. The first thing is to learn how your students are going to use access this program. Basically, we tell you to contact us. You can use the program in an iPad and a laptop. Really, any computer device will work as long as it has a browser. And we like to use Chrome because we like to use all of the apps that are attached to Chrome. But you can use Safari or any other browser or your preference too tell you how the unit is structured so you are familiar of how the content is stored in the website. And I'm going to show you all of those pictures directly in the curriculum, but I'm not going to go through the whole uh, tutorial, uh, but it's here for you to go through the different steps. And But I want to point out some of the other resources that we have for teachers. We have answer keys, so for any unit that you have, you can access the answer key for that unit. We also have lesson plans, so in preparation for teaching a unit, we recommend you that you also look at the lesson plans. And we have some tips of how to work with students with learning disabilities. We also have some things for promoting collaboration with the students. We have also because our unit has a lot of experiments, we have all of the list of materials that you need to conduct an experiment. And then the glossaries as well. Oh, and very importantly, we have 
the student reports. If you create accounts for your students and you link them to your class, you can access um, reports from all of the quizzes that students complete in this program. Now I'm going to show you some of the main features of the curriculum units, which is the platform for students. And I'm going to do this in the airs place in the universe unit. The way the units are structured are based on stages, which are like chapters in a book. So this unit has three stages. And within each stage, there are lessons, which cover all of the content that is covered in the unit. Each lesson starts with a warm up, which is a way for teachers to find out uh, what students already know about the unit. Among some features in our program is the ability to use the text to speech. So if you highlight text anywhere in our website, you can use the text to speech option to have the content be read to you. During the day, the sun appears to move across. Another feature is the notebook feature. So if there are questions that students need to answer, they can use the notebook, read the question, then type the answer, and then save their answers and their notes up here. The notes can be edited, they can be deleted, whatever they want to do with them. Among other features in our website is the vocabulary definitions. So very specific vocabulary words have been selected by us because they are technical words that are not frequently used words that need definitions to help a student understanding on the concept. So they appear in our website throughout. They are in a blue phone. When you click on it, the definition pops up and some of them have images as well. This is a read and discover activity, which happens after the warm up. Students learn about the content by reading, looking at some images, but there are very different ways to which we teach the content. For example, in this one, we also have an experiment. We have a lot of experiments and models that students have to create. And when students do the experiments, they fill out a lab sheet, we have different ones. If there is a model, it's a very different one, but students can uh, type in here to complete this activity, and then they can save it at the end and send it to their teachers. They can upload images of the model that they created. And there are multiple steps for the experiment. So we work with them throughout the whole experiment, giving them instructions. In this case, they collect some data, so we have a table for them to complete as well. Looks like they have to collect data on sunrise and sunset and the date length, so they fill out and they use this information in their experiment. And we gave them instructions of how to create the graph and they finish their experiment. Usually we have them upload their results in the forum, which is another feature that we have in this website. And there is always a team project activity. Among the other resources that we have are quizzes. Mm -hmm. So after they go through the learning stages in that lesson, usually towards the end, there is a quiz activity that they need to complete. If the students take those quizzes, teachers can see the results of those quizzes in the report system that I showed you earlier. And you can see when they get something wrong, they get a sad face, but if they get it right, they get a happy face so they can get some feedback. Uh, I don't have much time left, so I'm just gonna show you some other things that I open ahead of time, which are some interactives for other lessons. Here is one where they make a molecule. In here, students have to set up all of the different conditions to create a tornado. And it's a, a little bit of a process, so I want to show you, but you can uh, explore it later so you can find out how students can create a tornado. Well, thank you so much, and please ask any questions. Bye.